Hey y'all, Scorpio, you're up. That's my cards. Let's see what signs might be uh, relevant to your reading. What energies? Virgo, Leo, Gemini, Pisces. Ooh, Taurus. I feel like there's more because there is. There's a whole bunch more. I mean, we're only missing a few. The only ones that aren't involved are Aquarius, Cancer, and Aries. So, y'all, take it as it resonates. It's like... Everyone's kind of having a problem. Everyone, all hands on deck. I'm not really sure where we're going, so we're going to find out. Let's see. Spiritual awakenings, door to spirit, hostilities, uh, defensive energy, and this is a new beginnings or door to romance. And at the bottom of the deck, there's some keyhole right there. There's a keyhole right there. Something about someone's keys and what they go to. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Keys are very important. <clears throat> Let's see. What tarot deck do we want? You. Eight of Cups. So this is about a spiritual awakening here. It's also someone looking for peace. Um, or re relying on faith to get them through. A wing and a prayer maybe. I also feel like somebody's having a hard time possibly with addictions. The tower is in reverse. Somebody's been sitting in some things for like uh, way too long here. Somebody has maybe imploded. I don't know. Let's have a look, see. Oh, God. The emperor in reverse. This is what this is. This is something. All right, so yeah, this person wants to control things. They like to be in charge. People depend on them. This could be some sort of business owner, but I, I just feel like somebody's trying a little too much or a lot too much to push themselves on people, or push their ideas on people. What is this right here? Death. Nine of Wands. I feel like the people are sick of listening to it. Like about someone's awakening, about somebody's newfound spirituality for, because I can't figure out newfound something. Somebody's got all these ideas and stuff and they, they want everybody to know about it. You should be like me, think like me, walk like me, talk like me. Temperance in the devil. I definitely feel like somebody is, um, like this is spiritual, but the people aren't agreeable or that you're not agreeable to the people. It's almost like the devil is, 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 is driving here and he's making someone think that he's light. It's, it's a trick. It's some sort of like shape-shifting. So there's definitely some ego, some codependency, some toxic, some shit, toxic shits here. But this is an angel uh, and the devil. So this is an earth angel right here, temperance. It's trying to balance the things out and keep some sort of peace. Mm, this is an upset with the peace here. Uh, see, see it my way. Or if the people don't see it my way, then they are the devil. Five of Pentacles. Somebody, yeah, like, if you won't, if you can't, if you're not gonna, then you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carry on. The devil and the Hierophant are out here, so it's like people are walking away from families, from jobs, from friends, turning their backs on, yeah, someone's getting their back turned on them, or you're turning your back, I don't know, there's a lot of back turning, okay? So I point the fingers because I have no no idea who's doing the things. Hostilities. What is this defensive energy, please? It's the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is defensive to their family. They're offended by their family is what it feels like. Or a family is offended by somebody's demeanor, somebody's manners. Maybe somebody, I don't know, it's like somebody coming over your house and telling you what to believe and, and who you should be believing in. It's like, who the fuck invited you? Because cause I don't remember asking you to come over and enlighten me. So you know what you can do? You can take your fucking opinions and go home. Okay? Thank, thank you very much, Five of Pentacles. 
So it's almost like somebody can't leave the shit out the door. You know what I mean? Like when they show up, they, they just bring all the shit with them and then word vomit all over the people and everyone's eyes are rolling and the anxiety's up. And it's like, ooh, ooh. Well, we, one more. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, it has something to do with addiction. Somebody's something... Somebody doesn't like drinking or somebody's drinking too much. It's almost like this is uh somebody has a fight, has a has a, a relationship with alcohol that they can't get over or mm, whoa, nearly that's too much. That's the word vomit right there, the hermit. Somebody thinks they're enlightened. And maybe they are ace of cups and maybe all the other people are stupid. But the people don't like being told that they're fucking stupid. The people are like, come on, like, we, we love you. Where's the love, man? The sun. Why can't you just be happy? Why can't you just enjoy the shits? Like, why, why, why? I feel like there's the three of swords is poking out. I feel like there's a, it's heartbreaking just to listen to it. It causes definite anxiety, but it feels like a, a mother's heart is breaking. It's like a child only a mother could love kind of energy. What is this? The devil. The lovers. The ace of wands and the devil. It's like when when somebody shows up, people are like, Ugh, oh, God. But... Everyone loves loves the person. So it's like, well, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they won't be, you know, all wacky today. Three of swords, seven of swords. This is new beginnings to, to romance. It's all like the people keep putting their heart back out there and keep trying to, to give the people the benefit of the doubt or to stuff all the feelings down. It's like everybody's got to be somebody else when this person shows up. So the three of swords and the seven of swords is the ten of swords. I just feel like the people have had enough. Uh, martyrdom, that, that's, that, that's the thing. There's no prize at the end for loving the unlovable. You know, we all make choices. And if the people are walking around eggshells because the devil's there, then five of wands. It's like the people just, they can't do it anymore. Sick of it. It's like somebody doesn't even recognize um, their own ignorance. They just want everybody else to see theirs. Like, not willing to look in the mirror, but wanting everybody else to look in the mirror. All right, let's see what's going on here. Someone thinks that pe someone can be saved. Uh, somebody has also changed a lot, and it's like, well, you know, uh, this change isn't really for the good. It's like over the top. What is this? Thinking is difficult, and that's why most people judge. There's a lot of judging going on. That's, that's what I'm saying. Somebody thinks they have all the motherfucking answers. Uh, if it seems like you're being played, you probably are. Listen to learn and not to respond. It's like the people can't say anything because if you say anything, then you're just going to provoke this big, huge argument and hostilities that no, nobody, nobody, nobody wants to hear it. If you're not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, nobody can stop you. Everything is about choices. And this is chaos here. Yeah. When we are our own problem. Stop imagining fake scenarios and hurting your own feelings. Confusing co confusion, codependency, reevaluate, red flags. Somebody's unstable, a menace, depression, and anxiety. So there, I, I you know, mm, mm, mm. let let's move on. What else you got? Po politics. Somebody might might come in yelling and screaming about the politics. People don't want to hear it. Uh, and also, it's like this person, they won't listen. They can't listen to anyone else. They, they just like talk, 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 talk. Maybe they're deaf. Somebody has, has hard of hearing. That's why that's that's why this is out here. Listen to learn, not to respond. They, they just want to put all, all of their thoughts onto other people. About all the rules and the whatever the fuck. There's a uh, negotiation. There's a lot of political talk. Let's just fucking say that. Also, here's the anxiety. Someone is suicidal, maybe. There's a lot of despair. I feel like somebody is scary at the family dinner here. I can't even make the shits up. See that? Restaurant. I don't know that it's at a restaurant, but it, it, there is a collection of people eating, and I would love to know what that card is under there, but that's just going to waste time for us. Oh, boy. What do we got here, yeah, Spirit? Uh, Y'all, you can find me on YouTube, and I will never, ever solicit you for a reading. Just saying. A uh, reason. So somebody is, um, their emotions are fucked up here. I feel like the clown. I feel like this is the person that nobody wants to be around, but you got to be around anyways. And can't we just like enjoy the things instead of 